All right, hey, so I am gonna go over Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is really, really awesome in terms of introducing new material because you can embed checks for understanding. This can be used just to give like directions for the day, like really quickly. This can be used for review. There's so many applications, um, but it allows students to have that check for understanding. I'm gonna take you through a little bit the options. Um, first off, if you go to My Classes, you can import from Google Classroom. It's completely synced there. So just so you know, um, if I go to My Classes, I can click on any one of them. I can look at previous ones. I just wanna show you what kind of, what Edpuzzle can actually show you before I get into nitty gritty stuff. So it can show me all of the students It'll show me what their progress is on a video. It can show me their grade for what they got. Um, and I can see in real time, actually, if I assign it, who's completing it and who is not. So with that, like, I mean, obviously, if I'm in class, then I can circulate and see who's done faster um, or who's done first, then I can make sure to check in with them for the next thing. Um, and if I see that they're not starting, it allows me to be like, okay, I need to check in with you, like what's going on. So it's a really good tool that way. Um, looking also at data. So if I look at this video, um, when it tells me that I have answers to grade, it's because they were allowed to do a free response and I can grade really easily. Um, so. If I'm like, yes, that's right, I can give 100. If I think that it's worth like 50 or 75, I can manually input that. Um, so it's completely, it's, it gives you a lot of that flexibility. It also um, can allow you to go into the different questions. So it'll tell you like for this specific question that 11 out of 25 people were right so I can see, okay, who had the right answer and what percent, and then who had any wrong answer, which these are people who just haven't. Um, so the wrong answers, it gives you like the number. And the out of 25, it's just some people haven't done it yet or I haven't graded it yet. And so those are some things that you can see. Now the videos that you can use, um, there are quite a few teachers who are at Belmont Charter High School and you can search for their videos that they have made. Um, you can also look for Edpuzzle videos that other people have made. So you can just search, um, let's say I wanted to talk about ecology. I can search and see what are the videos that people have come up with ecology and I can assign it. Um, so let's say I wanted to do this one. I see this looks like something I would want to talk about. I can edit this and I can cut it. So this means that I can crop it. It doesn't let me do like fancy schmancy things in the middle. But what I can do is I can edit the beginning and the end. So if I want to, if there's like an intro that I don't need or an end that I don't need, I can cut that off. Um, this also allows me to put in voiceovers so I can literally record my voice talking over um, if I want to embed something. And then it will also give me the options for different types of questions that I can embed. So it can allow me to do a multiple choice question and open edit or a note. Like let's say... The video says something, but maybe we called it something else in class. I could be like, this and this are the same thing. Just a note, just so you know. Okay. So those are just some, some very helpful things. And the voiceover also, this can be the part of like, make sure that you're looking at this document or make sure that you have this up or reminder that this is due and blah, blah, blah. Um, if you're looking at a video like this one that already has multiple, like already has questions on the sidebar here, it's just look, telling you what are the questions, like what are the open-ended was. I see that there are a lot of open-ended questions. 
Um, there are some multiple choice, but I can go in and edit any of those. I can add more. I can really customize it to whatever I would like. And then once I've done that, I can just press finish. And then I'm able to assign it to any of my classes that I've already imported. So if I wanted to assign it to period one, I can put in a due date of whenever and the time, same thing. This is really cool because it can prevent skipping. So sometimes students like to like skip around the video. If you say prevent skipping, that means that you are ensuring that they are watching the whole video and in order and they can't skip around. Um, you can turn on closed captioning. This is like all YouTube videos should have this turning on closed captioning which means that students who may not be able to hear, they could at least read what they're, what is being written. And then in order to assign this to Google Classroom, you have to post on Google Classroom. Do not use these public links. Um, not a good idea because it doesn't always go through on Google Classroom. It's just like a, a syncing issue. Um, if you are using a YouTube video because you are able to upload your own videos to this, make sure that you email Alex Chin, the, I, the IT person, to make sure that he has unblocked that YouTube video and so that students can access it. That's really important. And then if I click Assign, um, it's posted. And if I go on Google Classroom and I press refresh, um, it will automatically show up from Edpuzzle and students will be given a link to follow to get to the video and it should take them straight there. So that was it for Edpuzzle. Let me know if you have any questions.